<laughs> Dusty, huh? Yeah. This is mad serious for some insulation. <laughs> We're having a problem. The spray foam is sticking to the styrofoam, and then as I'm sliding it across the floor, it's just smearing. A friend of mine came over today and we're going to go down to the beaver dam while it's raining and we're going to set some traps and go beaver trapping. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Hmm. Weather's going to be really nice today and tomorrow. You know, I don't know about you, but when the weather's really nice, it just it gets you motivated and wanting to get things done. It's like an early onset spring fever I got. <laughs> but we are hearing some birds that are back around that migrate, like some songbirds that are have been around in the morning. We're like, hmm. Maybe that's a good sign that spring is just right around the corner. Like, I can't wait. In the summertime when all the bugs and the itchy, crawly things are all over you, you're like, I can't wait for the weather to change to be colder so we don't have to deal with the bugs. And then when the cold's here, you're like, I can't wait for it to be summer or summertime. There's that one little short in-between period where it's just perfect, where the bugs are pretty much not existent. It's not too hot, not too cold, but it's a very short-lived time. I'm going to get back to finishing that compost bin that I started in last week's video. Get that done today and then we got to start some garden prep stuff. I'm thinking of how I'm going to redo these garden beds and I, I'm pretty excited about the plan I have for it. It's all done. Let's see if the door swings open with these and I think it's going to be just fine for composting our poop. <laughs> we actually have a compost bin in a proper location away from the house that's built to withstand animals getting into it. I think Jess is going to be happy with this one. I am. Yep. Simple box. I even made it have an automatic closing door. Uh, yeah, this will work fine. I like it. What do y'all think? You see, it's like I said, it's the little simple projects that we complete that really make me happy and give me motivation to keep going forward and try bigger things. The weather's been perfect. I think it's time to insulate under the dome. Yep. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Stuff's heavy. What stuff? Spray foam insulation. Woo! What we're going to be doing is just letting this sit in the sun for a little while so it can kind of acclimate the temperature because the past few nights have been cold. Uh, yeah, and we're going to finally insulate under the dome. 
as of course as the temperature mm-hmm. starts to get to the 50s and 60s right <laughs> but. yeah but we're ready for it and excited to get it done so today's yeah. the day insulation wednesday insulation wednesday <laughs> She has such a prey drive, it's sometimes hard to keep track of her because one minute she's there, the next minute, she's after something. Yeah. Well, now that we're ripping down the tie back, we're past the point of no return. We have to get the insulation done. Oh, we forgot a trash bag. It smells like dog. Yeah. <laughs> dog hair is all in the crap. That's why. Before we can spray foam, we're trying to clean out all the dog hair and dust that's collected between these cracks so we're not permanently sealing them into the DNA of the deck <laughs> and our floor. Maybe, you have the filters. Maybe the filter's clogged. Let's check. Let's see if oh. Why are you covered in mud? Hmm? Sally? Come here. Feel like explaining yourself? Why are you covered in mud like that? Where'd you go? Down the creek? Why you do that for? A hot mess. That's what this is. And a hot mess that's in trouble. How did you get like this? How did you get like this? And why does it smell like poo? Why? <laughs> what? It's just oh, dust. so much dust and dirt. It has shoes in it. <laughs> Got booties. I don't call them shoes. <laughs> this spray foam, when it gets on things, it doesn't come off. Not very easily, so. Gearing up. Gearing up. <laughs> Man, it'll be hot. Yeah, you'll probably be a little warm. <laughs> this is mad serious for some insulation. <laughs> God, it doesn't fit very well. <laughs> I 
Jess has been waiting for an opportunity for me to wear these white muck boots. I'm like, the heck am I going to do with these pure white muck boots? These are like for like a clean room environment, but I guess right now. <laughs> The way that we're going to work this is that I'm going to put this piece of styrofoam down on the floor and then I'm going to put the knife through the floor so that Sean can see where the one end of it is and then I'm going to put the knife in at the other end so he can just follow the seam as to what's directly underneath the dome and what's underneath the foam so that the spray foam doesn't come up through and splatter all over everything inside the dome. Holler when you're ready down there. All right, you ready? Yeah. This is the last row, right here. Where? Where my neck is. Don't go no further than this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going past that one. Evil are like, there's a lot of open holes. Well, there's a lot of open holes. Like you see right here. I can't see where you're showing. Well, I mean, I'm putting the knife through the hole. No! Okay. We're having a problem. Okay. The spray foam is sticking to the styrofoam, and then as I'm sliding it across the floor, it's just smearing the it's, insulation onto the floor. It's not the best plan. And I can't move it fast enough for the spray gun to not get gummed up and get the corners marked so we can see what the area is that's available to put spray foam. So now we need to come up with a different angle on how to approach this. I don't know, do you think trying to spray from the top and fill in the cracks and try it that way for once? I'm skeptical. I, I'm not, I am too, but we could try and see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna be any more screwed up than it already is. Mm. All right, let's try it real quick. No. Seems to be working okay this way. Right, I just gotta go slow. Right, because it obviously it's already starting to expand back here a little bit above the thing. But will it cut off with a razor blade? Absolutely. So then if we can fill all the cracks in this way, then you can just go under and cover the whole bottom. Correct. No. Oh no, not the tip. <laughs> A lot of scraping, but yeah, I'd rather scrape it off than than, than smear it all over the place. Yeah. stuff is definitely not as easy to use as I thought. It gets everywhere. Are you making a mess under there? Huh? Are you making a mess under there? I mean, it just doesn't spray as evenly as it may, they make it look in the video. <laughs> so it's like, you'll go over a whole area and then you find gaps. I don't know. Hopefully it just expands and covers it. We'll see. Okay. Thank you. Got some razor blades here. Huh? And, uh, you got what? I said I got razor blades. Ow. I'm going to use it to try to just kind of cut this off at level. See how it does? It's our only option. We've already sprayed through the floor. <laughs> How's it doing? It's doing. It's just going to take a little bit of time because of the unevenness of the boards from side to side. But it's working pretty well. Okay. Yeah. It's going to take a little. Face, it's like static like packy peanuts <laughs> yeah it's just gonna take some time so I'm just gonna get comfortable <laughs>
I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's ugly. <laughs> it didn't go as smoothly as I thought it would. It's this stuff gets everywhere. Yeah, it's taking a little longer. Sean's like, yeah, an afternoon. It'll be good. We'll do it. I'm always <laughs> overly optimistic <laughs> on everything. <laughs> And you're overly pessimistic. <laughs> so, it, so we, here we, we meet. Yeah, here we meet. <laughs> I got it all over my hands. This stuff is not coming off. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's starting to burn a little bit. <laughs> We're calling it here for today because it is a lot of work then to get everything set up and ready to no, spray gonna, again. It'll We're going to lose light here. In yeah, the next it'll be dark. 15, so. 20 minutes. As you walk into the light, you disappear. <laughs> Do I? Yeah. <laughs> all right, well. We'll re come back to this tomorrow. Yeah, I agree. I think we made progress today, though. It's, a little bit. It's not pretty, but it's <laughs> progress. Hey, pro our progress is rarely pretty, <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right. It's still progress. had to leave for work at like four o'clock in the morning today it's just pretty early day but actually i work best in the early mornings that's that's my kind of my time you know, i think today i'm just going to finish filling in the cracks of the floor once they're filled in i can go to town under the deck you know whenever i want but at least let's get the air from stop from coming up through the floor which is what is making us cold at night time the dogs are like i don't want to get up <laughs> you don't got to get up guys I'm just moving stuff around for a while. This couch bed is going to be retired really soon. All the springs are breaking underneath, so every night we're just sinking further and further down. It's actually quite uncomfortable. We do have a new bed, though. We just got to finish this loft so we have a place to put it, which that's becoming a priority very, very soon. I'm tired of sleeping on this thing. Please don't judge us for how much dirt and hair is in these cracks. It's insane.
least got the floor done before Jeff got home. Just got to get everything back inside now. I got plenty of time before the rain comes, so I'm not worried. But what do you think? Think this will work? I mean, I do. I mean, the cracks are filled, air can't flow through, and I think we're going to stay a whole lot warmer in here. Actually, I know we will. Trying to keep as much clutter off the floor as possible. So I'm gonna hide it. <laughs> okay, it didn't fall. <laughs> it didn't fall. A friend of mine came over today and we're going to go down to the beaver dam while it's raining and we're going to set some traps and go beaver trapping. <laughs> Never done this before but I've wanted to. He's actually showing me the traps and they're actually pretty humane. Like he stuck his hand in it, didn't even flinch when it when it trapped on it so I was afraid it was going to hurt the beavers. <laughs> Everything we're doing today is humane. The reason we have to trap the beavers is because they keep knocking down a whole bunch of trees and expanding this pond that they're building, which it looks cool, but at the same time, they're flooding out all of my land down at the bottom. So we kind of kind of have to get this a little bit under control. Wow, this pond's actually a lot deeper than I thought it was, everyone. This is crazy. <laughs> I wonder if we could stock this. When the water lowers where their house is built, uh huh. Uh, that's when they know like a dam broke. Or... Okay, so you got to get a kind of a good flow. Yeah, just maybe drop the water like a couple inches. What is that now? It's beaver gland lure. Oh. Stinky get, stuff. Stinky stuff. I guess that's how we're going to draw them in. <laughs> All right. Prepare to have your nostrils offended. Luckily, y'all can't smell this. This ain't too bad. I know. Compared to coyote baits and stuff like that. Okay. It still has an unpleasant smell. It only takes just a little bit. That's it. That's it? That's the first one. In the few years that we've lived here, this is the first time I've ever walked out on the, the dams. It's actually really kind of cool, but I also don't want to fall in. <laughs> you can see how the beavers have just like decimated all these trees laying down. Honestly, the beavers have flooded out a lot of my property, the majority of the property I have down here at the bottom. It's nasty down here, but cool. Not saying I'm going to, but have any of you ever tried beaver before? I mean, I heard that you can eat it. Have you eaten it before? No. no? <laughs> well, their pelts are good. Their pelts are good. And just to reiterate, no beavers will be harmed in this process. I promise you that. But this has been really fun to learn about, and you know, I, I appreciate him coming out and showing me how to trap. Appreciate you coming out here and showing me how to do this. You're welcome. All right, we got three traps set, so, and it's starting to come down really hard, so we're going to call it a day here, head back up. I really feel like a mountain man now. <laughs> Thank you.
tonight we're going to be making some venison with pasta. Venison's probably my favorite meat. How about yours? It's 100% hands down my favorite meat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd probably agree with that. It's really good. I like the, the redness of it, the richness of the red. I feel like it's like more closely to our blood color and better for our blood than the other red meats available. I just like the taste of it. <laughs> mm. I like the taste of it too. <laughs> Smells so good. Oh, I like it. Look how pretty it is. Get your big spatula. <laughs> For those of you that eat meat, what's your favorite game to eat? Drop a comment down below and let us know. Curious. Yeah, I'm curious too. Surprisingly, when we moved out here, I had the opportunity to try squirrel, and it really wasn't bad. It actually tasted like chicken to me. A little bony, but it was still good. No. Hey, get away. Back to your seat. Back up. Back on. I know, it smells good. <laughs> nope. Yeah, it's the best. I love venison. I love venison. You see, we had to move our bed to the floor. The As I was saying yesterday, this has just been caving in and <laughs> my back has been hurting. We can't sleep on that no longer. It's been quite an uncomfortable night's sleep. Yeah. We were slow, like in the shape of a horseshoe basically so soon enough we can get the loft done but for now we're gonna have to put any of the interior stuff kind of to the side because water is coming in now it's gonna be raining for the next few days and we're getting into the rainy season so we have to make sure we we tackle this water problem that we're having but we do have a really good idea for it and I'm almost 100% positive it's gonna work and solve, solve it so that we can not worry about the deck rotting out from underneath us and then focus on the rest of the interior. Yeah, there's no point in putting the inside together if the structural Integrity. parts are, <laughs> yeah, needing assistance. So that's going to be the focus. Try to pinpoint all the little problems, get them fixed, mm -hmm. and then focus back on finishing the inside. I mean, we have to do that all in kind of like unilaterally with gardening and Garden everything. Season. Garden season's coming up. We still have a preparation of our beds to be done. Luckily, we're going to carry, I think, from the homestead consultant, offered to come and help us with the bed preparation. So that's going to be really useful to have his knowledge and um, his skill there just helping us really ensure right. that we have a successful gardening season. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be useful <laughs> and a good teaching moment and nice to get some hands on with somebody who's a little more educated, yeah. especially in working soil. And that my remember my first year I was like ah it doesn't matter the plants are tough <laughs> and I've slowly learned as the years have gone on that soil is a big it's a big deal yeah we have, <laughs> to, we have to learn about soil a little <laughs> bit more so I don't think there's I think a better way than having someone like him come and just teach us and let's work with him it's gonna be great so yep so uh, look for all of that in the future mm -hmm. <laughs> This is really good, everyone. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> thank you, Noah, for the venison. Yes, Noah, thank you. Well, we're going to leave you here this week, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to have a pretty busy week again next week. <laughs> but we love you. And remember, keep growing. Keep growing.